Es Einstein, Albert Einstein, already said, imagination is much more important than knowledge. I would suggest we focus on imagination. Imagination and feeling, they belong together. And as we all have imagination, even more, and as we all Use imagination. You don't know how much you use your imagination. And we'll focus on this very common thing to get a little more clarity. Are you ready? Welcome all my viewers. Welcome all my subscribers. This video is based on my video that I produced before. I have money principle. It is based on imagination. The, it is nearly the foundation. So if you don't know it, go to my archive, watch this video. I have money principle. You will learn a lot about being and having. And now we come to the second stage, imagination and feeling. When Einstein said, imagination is more important than knowledge, then he probably knew what he said. And we know this. Today we learned a lot from books, from seminars, and we are more and more going into the deepness of our awareness. And in our awareness happens everything. We see the outside world through our antennas, seeing hearing, smelling, touching, this comes in our awareness. Over our awareness, we have access to our memories. We build habits there. We store them back in the subconscious mind. So everything what happens is in this virtual stage. You have nearly an internet inside your body, in your brain, which we call awareness. This is where you realize the world. When you are sleeping, the awareness is shut off. We seem nearly dead, but we awaken again. Oh, <laughs> another birthday the next morning. Yeah, but when we sleep, the awareness zero. But during the day, everything, our self-talk, all the things that we remember, everything happens in this virtual stage. When we eat something, we taste it and we enjoy it in our virtual stage. When we see good film, when we see nature, we are impressed. And this all happens inside. When we care for our desires, we imagine the future. When we realized something good in the past, we can remember it. All this happens in our imagination. This is your biggest stage. And we are so accustomed to it that we think this is normal. But this is not really normal. This is magic. This is true magic. And we also create our feelings there. Something happens, we evaluate it, and then we create a feeling. I'm happy. I'm sad. I'm in anger. All these are the final products that is created in our awareness. And I would call our imagination creates something really strong. Our self-hypnosis. We are hypnotizing ourselves in our awareness. You agree? When you realize the feeling of fear, then you start avoiding something. You start not doing something. But when we realize inspiration, a good feeling, this brings you courage. This makes you do something that you would never do with fear inside. So this is the part where we decide, go, no go. Dangerous, wonderful. Risk, chance. And all this is made by our inner thinking.
thinking process. No one helps us there. And we come to a final conclusion. Go, no go. And I say our imagination, this marvelous thing in our awareness, is a form of self-hypnosis. Where you create the go or the no go. As we learned in our I have money principle. When you say I have money, even if you have only few money, you create a feeling in your imagination of gratefulness, of wanting more, of at least being happy. And then you create a certain courage to do something that you would never do if you were possessed with fear. Yes, we are possessed with fear. And then we avoid to do something. But we can also be possessed with inspiration, with courage. And then we do something. You can call these feelings just like demons or energy forms. Fear is a negative energy form. Uh, courage and enthusiasm is a good ghost. <laughs> yes, demons, ghosts, energy. These are thought forms or belief patterns. All this makes us do or not do something. And all this happens in our imagination where we create feelings. And with these feelings, we create belief systems, new directions, new choices. Yes, this is what I wanted to emphasize in this video. To focus a little more on our imagination. And when Einstein said, imagination is much more important than knowledge. This is really true. Because your imagination can make you do something or avoid something. Knowledge comes automatically. Sometimes we do even things without having the perfect knowledge, but we do it anyway. Because we want to realize something according to our feelings. And all this happens in this marvelous stage, our imagination. Let's celebrate <laughs> imagination. I hope you enjoyed this voyage in your mind, the conscious mind, the subconscious mind. Try to reflect a little on this. And as always, there are so much more videos and we can meet us there or in the next video.